guys, so today I am doing the perfect palette tag. So if you know anything about me, which you probably don't, <laughs> you would know that I like love palettes. Like nothing gets me more excited than like when a palette is released and like coming out and all like the colors and like my pursuit for the perfect palette will never ever end. I promise you, like I will always be looking for the perfect palette. So I just like get excited about the packaging. I love how they like some of them are scented. I love how I just love everything about them. I mean, I can't even I can't even lie. Like I don't get excited about anything else as much as I get excited about new palettes. And like basically what I'm talking about is like eyeshadow palettes, really. Um But yeah, I'm just going to do the perfect palette tag. Um nobody really tagged me. <laughs> But I just tagged myself, so I'm doing it. I have the questions right here. So let's get started. Okay, question number one, best packaging. So I think this is going to be kind of like a toss-up between pretty much like all of the chocolate bar palettes and the bonbon palette, I guess. I just think that these are the cutest, like... It does honestly this is so cute to me. I can't get over it. The names inside like tr Coco Chili. Okay, wait. That's a stupid name. <laughs> I think it's really bad one to start. Bonbon Caramel Peanut Butter like so cute. I just love these palettes. They're so good. Too Faced has some of my favorite eyeshadows. I wish they would come out with single shadows because I would be all over that shit. Um these are just so cute and like that peach palette that's coming out, by the way, I need to get it. I'm just like, ew. Like, I'll die if I don't get it. So, anyway, I just think these are the cutest, so I have to give it to the chocolate bar palettes. Question number two, best color payoff. I think that I have to give it to my Lorac Pro palette. When I dip into these, there is a bit of fallout, but like, when I dip into these shadows, seriously, like, you just have to touch it a little bit, and then it is, it just has like, so much color. It is, I don't think I would recommend this to like, one of my friends who's just starting out in makeup, because it is so pigmented, but they do blend out really well, so that is the benefit of this also. I mean, this palette though, I just... Like, I take this with me when I travel a lot of the times because I just feel like it has, like, everything that I would need. Um, I just love it. I ju you just barely, barely touch it. I don't know if I'll ever hit pan on any of these because you don't really need a lot. It's just, it's just an amazing palette. If you don't have it, I always recommend this to people. Like, I always recommend this to my friends who are, like, they're experienced with eyeshadow and, like, they've used other palettes but now they're, like, looking to, like, step it up a little bit. I always, always say, like, please go get this. I love this palette. It is one of my top three, I think. Probably, probably, yeah, top three for sure. So that is definitely best color payoff. Question number three, most versatile. So I think I want to keep this kind of with, like, palettes that are, you can, like, buy right now. So I was gonna say, so like this is, this one I don't know if you can get anymore. I actually got this, it was like a gift with purchase, but it's definitely like the most versatile if you're thinking about having, like traveling with it or having everything because you have your, um, you have a blush, you have a bronzer, you have like just some basic eyeshadows. Like you could do a look with this for sure. And if you, even if you just wanted to use like these three shadows, but like, this for sure is, like, you can't deny, this is so versatile. I put this in my purse, actually, this huge thing, I do put this in my purse because, like, if I need blush, if I need bronzer, if I need to touch up my eyeshadow, I have this with me. So, very versatile, but, like, if I wanted to keep it with, like, palettes that, I don't have too many palettes, I mean, I have a lot, <laughs> I have a lot, but I don't have, like, I don't know. I don't have a lot of versatile palettes because I just like eyeshadows. Like, I don't really care if there's a bronzer in it. I don't really care if there's a blush in it. But, I mean, it helps, but I don't, like, I'll bring that stuff with me because I'm a hoarder and I don't care if I bring 10,000, like, suitcases of makeup with me. <laughs> I just don't care. 
So I would say another really good versatile palette is this Carly Bible palette. It doesn't have a blush in it, but you could use like, I guess you could use this one as a blush or a blush topper at least. Um, but I just think like these eyeshadows you can use as, like you could use this as a bronzer if you wanted to. Um, I think that's what it's actually meant to do. But you could use like all of these, you can use these for like highlights too, you can use them for, I mean obviously you can use them for eyeshadows, which these are amazing shadows by the way. And this is only like, tw this is only $12.50, so if you don't have this, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to get this. Um, these highlighters are out of this world, like some of the best highlighters I've ever tried, I'm serious, they're so good. Um, yeah, I just think it's like super good. I totally recommend this super versatile you can use it for a lot of different things and yeah I really love this palette you should totally go get it it's the Carly Bible palette so that wins for most versatile in my collection at least number four is best for traveling so it's a tie but I'm gonna I have a palette that's like my favorite palette which I'll put in my for another question I'll have that for my other question like my favorite one um, so I'm gonna give the best for traveling to the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I take this with me when I travel, I really do. Um, well I take a lot of palettes when I travel, but this, like, you just get so much, like, you can make so many looks with this. I, for sure, like, you don't really need more than this. I mean, I wish maybe if they had like a gold in there, that would be awesome. But you can make like a neutral eye look. You can do, this is a beautiful shade. Let me swatch it really quick. It's just like, look at my arm. Like, these shadows are amazing. They're so much better than the Tartlet palette, first of all. Like, oh my god, don't like the Tartlet. I don't like the first Tartlet. But this palette is so good. You get like a, like blacks, you get, I mean, it's almost black, if not black. Like dark browns, you could use these colors. I am all about having a black in a palette. If it does not have a matte black in it, or like some kind of black, I do not consider it to be like travel friendly, because I use black I I mean I use black on my eyes today like in to do a cut crease like I use it for eyeliner I use it for you know so for me I need something like that and that's why I say this is so travel friendly and you can do so many looks with these shades they're just so good I can't say enough good things about it the packaging so cute so adorable amazing it's just I there's I have nothing bad to say about that palette so that one wins for best travel, or what was the question? <laughs> best for traveling, yes. So that one. Question number five, biggest regret. I have, this one took me a while because I like really do regret. Um, I don't like to talk bad about like brands or you know products because like I think if I made a product and somebody bashed it, I would be heartbroken. <laughs> so I love this brand, I love the rest of the makeup, but I just, this palette for me just did not work out and I'll kind of explain why. So this is the, let me show you the front. This is the Bobbi Brown Hot Nudes Palette by Bobbi Brown. Whoa, the lighting. Um, yeah, so this palette was, I believe it was around $60 for eight eyeshadows. So you can do the math on that. These shadows are not I don't know what I was thinking, you guys, and then when I got home, this black had shattered all over, like, all over my stuff, all over, like, I bought all this Sephora stuff, shattered all over it. Like, I don't know why I didn't return this, but I just kind of feel like, like a scummy person when I return makeup, even though I shouldn't feel that way, because it's totally okay, and you should return makeup that's expensive, you should. I just feel really bad. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, um, that rant's over. <laughs> So I have to say this is my definitely like my biggest regret. It was way too expensive. The color payoff is honestly, I know it looks good there, but like these blend away. Okay, okay, that's a perfect spot. What the, okay, it, I swear you guys, it's horrible. Like these shades, they're hard. Like they do not blend. You cannot create very good looks with this. It's just... I've tried to use this so many times. I've tried wetting my brush. I've tried everything. It's just, it's a regret. I don't like it. <laughs> so, 
don't buy that, okay? Number six, best color names. So I have to give it up again to the chocolate bar palettes. I just think like, this is actually my least favorite of, no wait, I'm sorry, the Bon Bon palette's probably my least favorite of the, of the three, but like, I need to reach for this more because it is really pretty and like, most people like this one. Sorry that I'm ranting again, but like, most people like this one the best, but I actually like the semi-sweet because, I don't know. But like, milk chocolate, strawberry bonbon, marzipan, salted caramel, gilded ganache, like, that's cute. <laughs> Black Forest Truffle they definitely did a great job. So, yes. So, number seven is least used. So, that one is like so obvious to me because I got this palette and it was cheap. So, this is, oh, it's all right. But I got this palette and I swear, I swat, I got like, it was sent to me in the mail. I got it. <laughs> I swatched it never used it because it was like I just knew it was gonna be shit like I'm such a brat but like I I don't know why I did this I'm not gonna oh I see why I did this cuz it broke oh my god so it's the BH cosmetics the 120 color palette guys I mean it looks really pretty and they actually liked one of my Instagram, BH Cosmetics liked one of my Instagram pictures and it got like, oh my god, what did it get? I got like 500 likes and I was like, what happened? Then I realized it was because they had liked it, but, so I feel bad that I'm bashing this now. Fuck. Well, gotta do it. You know I keep it real here. So, anyway, this palette, like, the color payoff is just, it's not good. It's just, these are too small to get in. They have like, I just don't know why I even like bothered with that because I am not, I don't like a lot of color, you know, like I'm just like, mm, I would be totally fine just sticking to like my neutrals, you know, like I'm a neutral gal. So yeah, I am just gonna, I'm just gonna keep that in my drawer. If you've seen my makeup collection, you know about my disaster drawer and that lives in there so I need to get rid of that I just need somebody I know my sister or somebody or maybe one of you guys will like totally love it sure. so. so the final question number eight is your most used most loved desert island palette so like what palette would you want if you were stuck on a desert island I don't know who would be doing their makeup if you were the only one on a desert island but whatever probably me actually so I shouldn't say that so I'm gonna do two palettes um because this was my original favorite for the longest time. Like, I don't ever use like the blue shade, but like the all of these warm shades and they have a black, which I need, which I want, I need it. So, wow, I'm so like dramatic. <laughs> these I just like think are so amazing. They're so blendable. They're so pigmented. They, the color selection is so, like you have matte, what are these called? You have like a, almost like a gold. This is so pretty on the lid, by the way. They have like the sparkly pink with the glitter and you can just kind of put it over your other shadows to give like a little, you know, glitter. And you, you don't really get a whole lot of the pink. Maybe if you wet your brush, but like these colors, this selection to me is just so perfect. Like for what I like. And what I like is just like, wow, I just said like about a hundred times. What I like though is just warm, warm browns and like warm fucking everything honestly I just I love this palette I bring it with me all the time I can create so many looks with this I just it holds a special place in my heart like if I if I didn't have one like I would totally go out and run and buy one like the next day because I need it that's the first so one I'm gonna say but then the second one I just actually put together and I created um, like my own life palette my own Z palette um, and these are MAC, Makeup Geek, and Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows. So I swatched these two foiled eyeshadows like the first day that I got them. I was immediately on the Makeup Geek website and I ordered like all the rest because they're so good. Let me. This is my probably my favorite. It's Grandstand. This is a lot of people's favorite. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'll do it like right here. 
guys. Okay, excuse that fake tan. Like, I feel really embarrassed, but you guys, that was just... Those are amazing. The Anast like Anastasia and Beverly Hills ones are so good. This is just like a life palette. Like, I don't need any other palette in my life, you know? So, yeah, this one totally wins for me. I am going to take this when I travel now. Like, the best. So, if you want to see, like, a video on what is in my life palette or, like, what me going through, like, each individual, whoa, individual shade and, like, swatching, I will totally do that. So, just let me know. So yeah, that is the perfect palette tag. Um, consider yourself tagged if you're watching this because I would love to see your perfect palettes and your, um, what am I saying? <laughs> I would just, yeah, you're tagged, so just do it. Even though I wasn't tagged, you're tagged now. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.